Back on King Arthur, Legends Rise, we're going to show you how to get through Gorgos so you can get those mana orbs to start starring up your heroes, even to six star. And anybody can do this as free to play. K is amazing with their second ability to apply the poisons, but we're not going to focus on K. I want you to use K to get through Gorgos, but I also want you to level up this uncommon. Dejurit, Jurit, if the D is silent, I'm going to call him DJ from now on. So DJ here can apply a poison for two turns without any skill books put into him. So we can do this every single turn with three vigor. We're just throwing up poisons, two turn poison, two turn poison. It's amazing. They did do one thing to kind of stabilize him so that he's not so great. And it has to do with his passive. Immediately when you zone into the battle, he's going to put decreased accuracy on himself too. It's 14% less accuracy. And I tried to get a skill point into here, but it went into the other passive but it would have been to a 9%. And if we get two in here, it's gonna be down to a 4%. You can remove this buff if you have somebody that can remove a debuff from him and it will be gone the whole entire battle. But that's it. You just need a little bit of accuracy on him and he's gonna apply every single round two turn poisons. Sometimes it's gonna get resisted because we're fighting stage nine, eight, nine, seven. I'm gonna show you how to get through that hurdle. Six is easy for every single account. Seven, the fire one, is the hard one. And then once you're past seven, don't even bother fighting on seven. Eight is easy then because it's the frost affinity. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. If you're lucky enough to get Anguish, if you're lucky enough to get Rosier, of course, you could play them with her. But I would still say level up this guy to 50. You can use him in your talisman dungeons. And he's really great. I'm actually using him right now on stage nine, kind of swapping him in for her because I feel like he's a little bit more accurate because with her ability we've just got a low percentage chance 50 percent chance to apply a bleed for one turn now this could both hit we could get two bleeds up but a lot of times i get no bleeds up so why wouldn't i rather have the 100 percent chance to apply it he's just applying the poisons he's not doing damage like these other heroes but that's all we need we just need those poisons up because even on my new account very easy for me to farm six. Six is simple. If you have a K and you have her doing her second ability for three vigor every single turn, you're going to take this guy down. You just focus the boss. Don't worry about the side stuff. Unfortunately, we don't have a way to auto focus the boss on auto mode. We're running through like 10 runs, 30 runs, but eventually we will. We'll have that option. So for now, you just have to click the boss and go through it. Now, fire is the hardest one because we don't really, unless you have anguish, the guy we saw earlier, you don't really have anybody that's frost to combat or even fire because Rosier is wind right now when you get her with a wind weapon. DJ is wind and even K is wind, but that's okay. We're gonna take K and DJ into here and beat him. We just gotta beat it once. And then once we're past him, we come over here to this one, which is frost, which makes it much easier for us to fight with all those wind affinities that we have. And we just use DJ and get up those poisons along with your K and it's an easy win. From eight, once we get the orbs to be able to take our guys to six star, to 60, then you just start making some 60s and you go into nine with your 60K and your 50 DJ and you'll be fine. You're gonna lose a lot of these battles, but you don't lose stamina. So it's all right. You just go ahead and click it, click the boss. If you lose it, you replay it, you get stronger, get your K up, get your relics up, your weapons. Make sure you're running this dungeon here to get your relics up to make your stuff stronger. And that's it. I mean, the gear I have on these guys is not big gear. I'm gonna show you the gear really quick and then we're gonna jump into the battles. Here's the gear I've got on K, six, three, three, three stars, three, three. This one's not even leveled up. Here's what I have on Anguish. Here's my Rosier, nothing great. I'm gonna show you video with her in place of K because my K is too high level. She's level 60. I didn't want you to see a level 60 running around and go, yeah, okay, you got a 60 in there. So I'm showing you her at 50 and you'll see that in a minute when we go through the runs and she's doing her second ability just like K would do. So here you can see the gear he's got on, nothing major either. And then these are the stats he's got on here. 96% accuracy. Here's the fire level, level seven. We just have to beat it one time. I use Frederick because he's got an accuracy lead. It's not mandatory. I don't use Frederick on nine. So I'm just using him here to show you through the battle to give them all a little more accuracy. And again, I'm using Rosier instead of K because my K is level 60 and really powered up. I don't want you to see a level 60 in here and be like, you might not believe it then, right? So I just have these two and I've got it to where they're both doing their skill too. So we've got them set up to priority for DJ to do his and for what well, you're going to see right here. There we go. And that's exactly how you're going to set up K the same way. So you have K and DJ in there. You'll set up their second ability to go off 
And eventually they'll loop around and they'll both be able to fire off their abilities like every two or three turns, they'll both be able to. And that's it, we're gonna see DJ come around now and be able to do his poison. And he's got a two turn poison up. That's it, that's all we want. 5% damage per round. And then along with a few extra poisons from her and we're gonna have a good game. GG, the boss is gonna be dead. And dead, and look at that, who did the most damage? Okay, DJ pulling it in at 41% to Rosier's 35%. This is eight, same skill set, and we do currently still have the accuracy lead to give us 20% additional accuracy. So you can see the bleeds, we can see the effect accuracy down on him, that 14% less. If you can get two skills in that and get it down to 4%, that would be amazing. Or if you have a way to take it off like right away and not use too much vigor and then let the let the battle go on right just focus the boss and then they'll be both doing their their poisons or bleeds or whatever they do their damage over time so there's a lot of different ones in this game then you will be set to get through eight because eight's going to be really easy especially i'm going to tell you this if you have somebody that's fire you see how my frederick's over there and he's a fire champion well we're fighting against frost so frost is naturally going to attack somebody who's the weaker element and it does it attacks Frederick a lot, which leaves my other guys alive to be able to do their poisons. Now, if my DJ gets down low enough in health, the boss will go attack him. It's not always, always the boss will attack the weak affinity, but it should. Most games are always programmed that way. So having him in there is fire so that he'll die first and it gives my people the time. There we go. Let's go put up that, put up that bleed or poison with him. So now we got bleeds and poisons up. This boss is going to go down pretty easy. And that was eight. Once you can farm eight, you can start making six stars. It takes a little while, but you can farm and make six stars. So we're gonna go through this one more time. No clipped battle there. We just went back to back to a new battle with it. And our boy is gonna put up the poisons. She's gonna put up the bleeds and the boss is gonna, no, no. The boss is not gonna die. It was a, it was a close battle. Sometimes this will happen. I think I did this so I could show you how close it can be. But, man, come on, that guy had no life. You don't lose any stamina, so it's okay. You get it back, so you just keep doing it over and over, you'll be fine. Now let's jump over to stage nine. A stage nine win with DJ in here. We've got Anguish, and now we have our K. Level 60 K, level 50 something Anguish, and we're gonna go over here to nine, 56 Anguish. And he helps out, he really does. You can see that he's got the poison up right now, because sometimes Anguish and K just don't want to lay down their dots. You know, their percentage isn't super high. But with him in there helping out, even though he dies, it's fine. We've got our we got our ones coming up to level 60 that are stronger. I don't really want to take DJ to 60 right now. I'm going to save that for some other heroes so we can show you how to get through the dragon dungeon easier. I'm going to do a video on that tomorrow for you. But that's it. This is level 9. And once you can farm 9, you're really set. But really, you can farm 8 for a while and do well there. So that's it guys. I think it's pretty simple. Just take your DJ, put him in there, get those dots. Just be mindful that he has that less accuracy. So just give him some accuracy. I don't really notice him missing that much, but just pay attention to it. Once he does his move, you can see he does a move because he puts a little bleed on himself. See if it lands. If it doesn't land, then it's being resisted. There's always, there's two different ones. Like there's a neck and a ring that can both have accuracy as a lead on there. So throw that on there, make him tanky. He's not doing any damage from his normal attack. So just make him really tanky, get that accuracy in there and you will be set. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Let me know how you're loving the game. Let me know your thoughts down below. I will see you all in a video soon.